Hi Pisces. How are you doing guys? Oh you guys, I have been um waiting for this recording because I feel like Pisces are going through a transformation. Like I see big shifts, big changes for all the signs. But Pisces, you guys are on like a pathway of success or something. Like you guys are going in for the gold right now. Whether that is work related, create creatively, you know, related or in love. Good things are coming. I can feel it. So when I was sipping into the Pisces energy, I always love the Pisces energy because I'm also a water sign and Pisces to me is always so, oh, just, a, just such a loving, universal love energy, like love, just love. Like that's what I feel when I feel Pisces energy. So what I got for you guys are a couple messages. So that's like, I know this is my first reading for Pisces. Um, I have been doing reading for Pisces and stuff, but not like, you know, online. Um, so what I got for you guys, a couple messages that I just felt like I needed to deliver. So I hope like it uh, resonates for some of you. Okay, so I got follow your heart. Well, I don't know, maybe you're trying to make a decision and you just don't know right now. And that's maybe very personal for one of two people that are listening to this, like watching this video right now. That's what I got, but I got really like, like random things for you guys. I got fresh air and I got forest. So if you guys have time between now, today's the 18th, up until like the 31st of December, is follow your heart, get some fresh air, go walk in the forest, just take a break, um, tap into your own energy like be surrounded by nature or by water, but I really get like um, fresh air, just fresh air, just outside. You know, I'm really getting that for you guys. So for some of you, that's really important. Maybe if you work on the office and you know, you leave when it's dark, you come home when it's dark because it's winter, of course. For a lot of people, then sometimes you can get, you know, stuck in your mind or a little depressed or, you know, feel the heavy energies and we're having so many different energies you know, universal ways, like planet, um, planetary ways, like, mm, that could definitely be like a trigger for like some emotional feelings. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the right words. <laughs> I just did um, an Aquarius reading and then I always get stuck in my mind sometimes. <laughs> I love Aquarius, people get me wrong, but it's just sometimes, um, important to tap back into the softer water sign especially for Pisces um okay what I got was not like just like the number but more like the word five so whatever it <laughs> means to you um take it as it comes so I got five and I got one 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 more one thing that kept coming back and I was like okay Am I going to write this down or not? And it was like, eye of the storm. So, that probably, we'll probably find that one back in the cards, in the reading. Um, and tiger stone, so tiger eye stone, I think they, they meant. Um, which, is, which is weird, because it's not, <clears throat> sorry, it's not a um, Pisces stone, you know? It's like more like Leo and fire energy. Um, but I myself love the tiger stone. I got one right here. This is like one of the prettiest I've ever seen because um, it's so raw, like real to write from nature. <laughs> um, but I do have a Leo, um, Venus and Mars. So that's maybe it. I don't know. Anyway, if that stone means anything to you, if you're interested in stone, you need a little bit more focus or directed energy than a tiger stone. I got for you guys so i don't get stones for everybody but this was very clear um so yeah and it's not like i was focusing on it because it's here no because it's always here so it's not like something new uh 
yeah so eye of the storm are you guys going through something right now like are you middle of like the storm or something like oh oh yes you are i see <laughs> okay let's see what else coming up for pisces ah uh, there you are pisces you came up in your own reading i see Okay, I'm just gonna get the cards out first. See what comes up for you, Pisces. Um, now till the end, like the 31st of December. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, look at that. Any more messages? Oh, guys, come on. They've been doing that. Like they love it or something. I don't know. My cards have been everywhere. Um, but that's too much so if it's meant to come out it will come out anyway um because it's my first pisces video um i want to explain to you guys well like i work with the fallouts and the flip overs and i use my intuition with everything so that i do know like how to read you know certain spreads with like the past and the future and stuff but for me throughout the years i've learned to really use my intuition and that resonated the most for me and also with other people I've read for so I'm just gonna continue that doing online as well and I hope it resonates for you and if not then there are so many readers out there um, I'm just trying to get the message out that need to come out uh, in my own way you know okay so I'm gonna get a couple more cards because I feel like we need some more outcome cards you guys like a lot is going on like the cards just are like jumping on me like right now <laughs> come on give me like one there we go some for pisces 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 people okay one more there we go okay guys this is an interesting reading. Completely opposite energy strength from the other readings that I've been doing lately. Okay, let me see. So, you guys have most definitely been dealing with a lot of different situations lately. And are still right in it. Damn. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign, definitely, because I see a lot of ones coming up. And also Aries, like definitely got Aries very strongly for Pisces right now. So I don't know who this Aries person is in your life. It might even be like a boss, because we've got the emperor here, or like, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or whatever. Uh, I do get like... Um, Pisces, like I get Aries really strong for you guys. Um, also Sagittarius, so that's not the fire sign, like I said, fire signs. Um, let me see. So. After a little confusion, you guys have been like uh, stuck in like a sort of situation where you were confused. You don't, you didn't really know what to do, and you were like, "Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Like I don't even know. Like I don't even know what to do, and I'm just while well, I'm just here waiting, trying to. I'll just try and keep everything going the way it goes. Like uh, even though I know I can handle all of this coming at me, um, I'm still just gonna." I guess I'm just go just going to continue like this for a while and maybe you weren't even like deeply thinking about it, you know. Um, I feel like there was somebody in your energy in, around you, in your aura all the time um, that came off so strong. You're like, I just don't have the, I don't know how, like how am I supposed to go... Um, I'm supposed to like stand up to this and and I, I like I, I just I don't have the energy to to like uh you know for this conflict or to to go into the confrontation or 
to like I just I just don't know just let it I'll just let it go on for a little bit that's what I feel like you guys were like in that energy of course not all of you maybe you were like the more of like a fire person and our person was feeling this um but what I really feel is like you guys knew yourself that 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 couldn't go on forever and it was just so heavy to like what you were holding on to you were holding up things from the past and for her family and at work and every you know, like everything was just like heavy burdens like whether that was just with one person or with many people or with with your job and a lot of clients or a lot of things it was just too much to deal with and you knew that but you just you just didn't even have the energy to just like make a change or to think about it or to like like that's really what I felt you, you guys were stuck for a little bit but I see that changing but one more thing about that situation is like you guys really were so unhappy like in a way of feeling left out in a cold feeling like you're not having enough feeling lack feeling like oh my god am I enough will this work out like doubting yourself doubting like the patch you're on is this for me is this like damn Pisces I feel like because I started off with such amazing energy when I started reading for you guys like hey great things are coming you guys are on your game and you are but I'm talking about what you left behind or what you're about to leave behind because this burden we got the ten of ones over here is done you're gonna put it down you're like there's always like a little bit of my bad girl car, like bye Felicia, bye, can't, will not, over, done. I'm going to walk away. I will leave this in the past or I will just like switch up because as you guys can see, it's like you are here. There you go. And then you are here again. You got the moon card. That's your card, Pisces. It's also a little cancer, but it's more Pisces. And you're just like... Or you're just like... You know, like... Oh, I'm so glad like I released that. Fuck. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to swear. Um, damn. Is that a swear? I don't know. Sorry, I'm so scattered. I don't know what's gone into me. Maybe I did too many readings. And it's, it's New Moon. And I'm a cancer in many ways. <laughs> so I always get a little... You know. Uh, but I go with the flow and my intuition is very strong on days like this. So you guys have to take it with, you know, a crazy side, I guess. Um, you are just like, <sighs> release, like, oh, that's why I keep getting fresh air. And, and just, you need, like, you need to get away from that situation. Maybe you're living with somebody that's just oh, constantly on you, like on top of you. Like, hey, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why, why is this like this? Why is this like that? Like, you feel like, you know, like this. Or you constantly tell like, hey, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, or like, I'm here, I'm there, I'm home, I'm here. You know, like constantly like have the feeling that you have to like uh, make other people feel comfortable about where you at and who you with, you know. That is, that type of relationship could definitely be with a fire sign. Fire sign can show up like that, you know. When they get insecure about the relationship, they can become very controlling. And it's not, not, not thing bad against fire signs it's just you know the way they can be and you trying to hold up this ten of wands you know because you didn't want to disappoint nobody and you be always so like you weren't even happy and, and another person also wasn't happy but you you took like this on um, of like the energy of the knight of swords you know, and you're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to be bold and I'm going to be brave. And, and this is going to change. Like 2018 is going to be my year. I just know it. I feel it in every bone in my body and like in my whole entire soul. I know that I got to take this shot, this opportunity that is coming in because I do see good things coming for you guys. But also what I do see is that if it is with this fire sign and you're deciding to leave certain things behind, it's because you spoke, you speak up. Like you embody the energy of the King of Wands and speak up and stand firmly. And you see, you've got another card of you standing up for yourself and be like, okay, you know what? Oh, these 
cards though today. Um, you know what? I love you. Yes, I want this relationship, but this, like the situation as is right now, I can't. I just can't deal. It's too much. And it's okay, Pisces. You don't need to always like be the peacemaker and always like give so much of yourself, you know, and, and care for everybody. And it's it's supposed to be equal, like equal equality of giving and taking and giving and taking and so you both got you guys both are fulfilled in a relationship not just one person you know and that's such a what if sign thing to do just be okay you know what i'm just gonna get a little more and a little more and a little more uh, until i have actually almost nothing left and everything feels like a ten of wands you know, all I want to do is the Eight of Cups and be like, bah, Felicia, I can't deal, bah. Guys, I'm so goofy with you. Like, I've been so serious with all the signs. I don't know what's gone into me, but I feel like with Pisces, I'm safe. Pisces, no, you know. Pisces are funny. I think Pisces are funny people, you know. Um. Yeah, you're going to stand up for yourself. Speak up. Speak up against this Aries person, please. Speak up. Don't walk away from the confrontation. And if this message is not for you, then okay, just leave it. Like then maybe just embody this in other areas in your life. But if this is a message for you and you're dealing with an Aries, stand up. Be like, no. No. This is going too far. I want equality or I don't want this relationship because I can and will no longer carry this burden and sh and, and just hush and, and be still and just, you know, t it giving way too much of myself and I can't even focus on other things anymore because this relationship is so heavy on me. So this probably like just a message for one or two people. I don't know. I don't know why it comes out so strong because I have all these fire signs and Aries cards and, you know, you might be still in a situation where you're like thinking about it. Like, okay, I'm going to say something. But what do I actually want with this situation? And like all of that, you know. Um, or you just came out of that. You just stood up for yourself. And then you saw the result of that. Because I'm not just telling you like, hey, just walk away to walk away. I'm just telling you like, listen, once you stand up for yourself. And you set, set boundaries with this person or with yourself. Or with the situation at work or whatever you're going through. Because you're going through something. I can definitely tell that. And you stand up. That's when good things are coming in. You know, like, follow your karma. That's what my shirt says right now. It's like, if you stand up for yourself and you show self-respect and self-love, that's what people are going to give back to you on the level of what you... The level of self-respect you show to people is what the level of, of respect they're going to treat you. And that's just naturally what happens. And it's, it's it sucks sometimes, Pisces, I know. Because we, we don't want to be a fire sign and stand up and be loud and have fights. And it depends on what your rising in your moon sign are. But in general, we like peace. I like peace, quiet, you know, relaxed. But we can get so nervous when this Aries person or whatever. I'm just keeping in the Aries person. It's like making us feel so uncomfortable. Like like we did something wrong. And I'm sorry if I did something wrong. But you didn't do anything wrong. You know? But they, they make you feel like you did something wrong. This like what I really feel with this person. You know? But the thing is, is that they are waiting for you to stand up. They're waiting for you to take on this energy. Like, hey, Pisces, come on. Stand up. You know? They don't even know they're waiting for that, but trust me. Because when you stand up for yourself and you show self-love and self-respect, you know like, hey, I want this. I want the quality. Things change because you can see, because I, I got something similar for another sign. I just can't remember right now which sign it was. Uh, it might be a moon or your rising sign and you might end up on that video anyway. <laughs> um, I see. Look at this. Look at that. Might be Sagittarius too, though, but like this is teamwork, this is universal things, this is 
uh, working together and what I see is really with love it's also commitment you know to each other as a team and then we got six of pentacles so that's equality equality of give and take equality of of balancing things out you know the good and the bad and you know um when things become balanced and this is also about balancing things out so it's all about restoring like peace like like i just keep getting like fresh air and forest and i don't know what that number five means i have no idea what the number five means but they mean something to someone i'm definitely sure about that um you go through it and you accept that you cannot always get out of a conflict without um like running away from it will not always fix the conflict like walking away this time pisces is is really not it's just not an option it's not um well at least not if you want to put this burden down and you want to work towards this are you want a sec yes we're back um this time you gotta you gotta speak up like and i don't know what the situation holds for you i really feel like you're in a situation with an aries person um but that's maybe for just a couple of you and i feel that energy very heavily that's why i keep saying it um but i'm trying to get other storylines as well because i'm reading for more than the, just those people <laughs> um stand up for yourself and if you need like a couple afternoons in the forest fresh air and balancing things out and think about it and s learn how to stand your ground that is the best thing you can do for yourself right now it's focusing on that and also the the equal give and take has also to do with yourself make sure that um what you give out of yourself is equal equal to like what what you give yourself as well you know that also got to be balanced and you got to give self-love and peace of quiet and time to reflect and time to recharge your battery and and just be good mentally and emotionally and you know in every aspect of your life that got to be balanced as well so as much as you give to yourself you give to the other person but not like the other way like out of balance it's not it's not it's not good like it, it is a sign that something is wrong like you know uh, something is off and, and you need to look at certain things for now like if you want to get out of that energy and maybe you already gone through this energy i'm just picking it up now but if you stand up and if you speak up and be bold and be brave and whether you're gonna leave this person or not or you're gonna speak up to this person have conversations be very clear okay listen i need this and that Oh, and now I know I got this for Libra as well. I need this and that from a relationship. And if you can give it to me, then it's all good. No hard feelings at all. But I'm sorry, I'm no longer willing to to completely like give so much of myself that I um that I am empty, you know? And it really hits me right now because I really feel there's somebody out there that's just so it's not it's like so tired. I just got nothing left to give, and this person that you're with is still not happy, and you just don't know what to do. And I'm um. And if you are this person, and I'm here to tell you, like, listen, you are. You have the strength to just reflect and stand up and if you need a little time away from this person and take that time away whether it's an afternoon or weekend or you know six months you're not living your life for somebody else every pe person in this world is 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 just a person by itself is is as much um responsible for themselves as you are for your own self and it starts with yourself and if you have a lack in the self-respect and self-reliance and self-acceptance part department um you will of course attract people that sense that not 
not like um consciously like oh my god i see it this person is a girl so let me just you know go with that no 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 they do it naturally especially fire signs um i love fire signs don't get me wrong but still it's 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 not easy to to be with as a pisces to be with such a strong energy you know Okay, so I feel like I'm a little bit all over with your guys' reading. I hope for January reading, I'm much more clearer and we're out of Mercury retrograde. And maybe this was a good way to start off, you know, our little journey we're going to have on this channel, Pisces. Because I like to implement energies from last month into the new month and stuff. See where things are going. And the thing is, is that please don't worry because, like, you got this. Like, Pisces nice things are like good things are coming up like balanced things like the <sighs> release you know release of the tense energy you've been living under for a couple months now or for weeks or years maybe even i don't know your situation but get some fresh air get back to the or maybe like go to the beach pack on you know put on warm clothes and stuff and go to the beach and get yourself to the water and aligned with the pisces nature you know we need nature as a water sign. We just need that nurturing sometimes. And sometimes we just need to nurture us when we like to do the opposite, you know, give it to somebody else. But to be able to give it to someone else, you really got to start giving that to you first. And from that point of view, you give to somebody else, you know. But that's a lesson. That's not something that happens overnight. <laughs> that's a journey. And I think that's going to be beautiful for 2018 to focus on you, you know. And, and, and what do you want in a relationship? What do you expect? And um, I, I see beautiful things coming for you guys because you guys have a four of wands. So whether it's with this person or not, but I feel it is. And I feel like you're both on stage and both having victory in the situation because... The situation is not making both of you happy. Like not one of you are happy in this situation. And I feel like if you work to with each other instead of, you know, like, to what, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that because sometimes you work against each other instead of with, you know, and with the four of ones, you guys have, this is what happens when you find a way back to each other and to communicate Clearly, I know you don't like that conversational whole aspect of the relationship. I know, I know. But sometimes it's necessary to get all the ducks in a row. <laughs> and for the other person to understand that you do have this self-love and self-respect. And, you know, you do want certain things from this relationship. Or job, whatever we're talking about here. And they're going to appreciate that you for it, trust me. They will work together with you. They will give you that equality, give up and take. Like they will. But you gotta ask for it. If you don't say anything, how are they supposed to know? You know? Don't keep everything inside. And there are certain things that are coming up and you don't know yet. Because the moon card is here as well. And I know you guys had a moon, but that's also like when Pisces, like moon card comes up with the Pisces, like you're a little confused. You don't know, like, something going on. So clarity is coming. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Have a lovely, lovely Christmas. And, um, yeah, great New Year's Eve, I think. And I'll see you guys back in January, I hope. Definitely, I hope to see you back. And um, <clears throat> I feel like I kind of want to shuffle one more time. Because I feel like you guys need a little bit more hope. Because I do see beautiful things coming for you guys. Wait one sec. Welcome for Pisces. Okay. This came up twice. I tried to ignore it. And then it came back up again. So we already have 29 minutes. I'm not trying to make this too long. Nobody is this. Both of you are this. Right now. You see? And I, I don't know who this person is in your life. And if this is the energy they're embodying. Then um, definitely stand up for yourself. 
but I feel like <clears throat> yeah it could also be a Taurus by the way where's commitment guys yeah and an offer okay I'm gonna do one more card one more card for Pisces please welcome for Pisces and now on the 31st of December can you give me one more card for Pisces there we go and we got the ten of pentacles thank you universe <laughs> for making my Pisces a little bit happier you got great things coming Pisces trust me on that one it, it, I feel it like I feel it in the energies the cards are maybe like a little in delay like so it's stuck in the past but what I see coming up for you guys and feel like it's really good so trust that money is going to be great as well, which we like, you know, especially around Christmas, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, lovely, lovely Pisces. I'll see you in my next video, I hope. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Pisces.